We now return to Vetter Call Saul. Hey, Saul, got into a little trouble and I'm gonna need a lawyer. Here. Okay, so tell me exactly what happened. I was driving, had a bit to drink, and then I ran into a milk truck. Yeah. Were you on drugs? Ian Blue. Griffins, let's make this our Emmy winning episode. So get all your pukes and farts out now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, not funny. Package for Peter Griffin. Thank you, unknown delivery woman. Forget the freaking Emmy. If you touch her ass, I will... No, this is something I ordered. For me. I am a woman, and always have been. I've made plans to undergo surgery so my wang don't get in the way of the woman what I am. Louis C.K., is that you? Yep. I'm a big fan of yours, Peter. Wow, that's great! Because if Louis C.K. likes something, everyone has to. That's right. Well, I'm glad my popularity has cooled off just enough that you were able to get me to do this. Bye, Peter. Boy, he's not afraid to go there, I'm told. Great job, everyone. If that don't get us to Emmy, nothing will. Where do you think you're going? Doc, I'm, I'm not actually going through with the operation. I'm going home. We're doing this whether you like it or not. Doc, no! Stop him! Somebody help! You want the Emmy, don't you? Yeah! Yeah! And that is how I became your mother. Please. Don't. Why won't you die? When it comes to selling drugs, you and me will be a better team than the old lady's eyeballs on Downton Abbey. I'm looking way over in this direction. And I'm looking way over here. That way we can see all the awards flying at us. Here comes one now. Best cutaway. Nice briefcase full of cash. Where'd you get the money for a briefcase like that, Peter? I want in. I need the money to pay off my mysterious boss, Mr. Robot. Chicken! Let's get back in the house. I suppose it's time to tell my wife the truth. Like a man. <laughs> and then I sold all the drugs because the doctor said I had the cancer and I killed the guys and Joe took all the, the money. <laughs> For five long years, orange was my new black. <laughs> Whoa! I did not see that coming. One more. Let's watch one more. Well, hold on. Like all television viewers, our first priority before deciding to continue watching a show should be whether or not it features enough diversity. I felt very well represented. Oh, I'm glad, honey. Mm. Hey, thanks for letting me come over, you guys. We're gonna try for every single Emmy category. Starting with best stunt performance. Peter, I don't think that's a category. Oh, okay. Best documentary. Ah! Peter, you're out. I'm off the show? No, your penis is out. Urine. I'm in? No, urine is running down your leg. Peter, there you are. I've been calling you all night. Where the hell have you been? No time to explain. This Emmy thing goes deep. The same people win year after year after year. It's like there's some kind of secret society that takes all the awards and is keeping us from getting one. What are you hiding? What's the big secret reason Family Guy can't win an Emmy? All right, we'll tell you. Your show sucks. We haven't done anything as a family since we sat courtside at that NBA game. You okay? You guys okay? Great seats. Yeah, it's a whole different game when you sit down here. I haven't heard a guy's boom and fart the whole time I've been in here. I feel more relaxed than a chick on Facebook with her legs in front of a pool. Yes, I'd like a $4,000 ping pong table that's shaped like Easter Island. We have one right over there. Okay. How about a telephone that's made of vintage phone book paper and doesn't make or receive phone calls or work in any way? You mean like this one right here? Right, but what if I wanted... Sir, sir, there's nothing you can possibly imagine that's strange or useless enough that we don't have it here at Anthropology. 
I know one thing you don't have. Black customers. Ah! I'm melting! Ha-ha! <laughs> to the ladies' room! Eh, what are the odds she's gonna show up? <clears throat> Did you get your ass kicked by Meryl Streep? No, it was just some low-class Cockney woman from the mid-1800s at... <gasps> Bravo! She is amazing. Thank you. Stay out of my crapper. And the Oscar goes to Meryl Streep for Stay Out of My Crapper. Ah, the ladies' room at Wimbledon. Uh-oh, looks like these are in use. <sighs> Deuce. I know, what a stupid injury, huh? I haven't been this embarrassed since I was a rookie firefighter. <laughs> Sorry, first day, still learning. Hey, that's an interesting necklace you got there. Oh, this? It's from when I was a kid. It's half of a best friend coin. I always had this crazy dream that one day I'd run into the guy with the other half. Oh my God, Cody? Oh, that must be the name of the dead surfer I found this on. They always use football announcers for events they know nothing about. The players are ready to take the swimming field. And they're swimming! They appear to be doing the forward stroke. My neighbor has a pool. I'll take a dip if I know they're on vacation. It's neck and neck, and it looks like Canada won! Oh, no, they're going back the other way. Boy, Dad sure seems excited. I know. I haven't seen him this giddy since he discovered that single-loop roller coaster. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't feel so good. Ew! Ah! Ew! Ah! Ew! Nineteen ninety-seven, George Clooney. Wow, that's the coolest George Clooney there is. Hi, George Clooney, second worst Batman. Peter Griffin, second best Homer. You may have heard I'm also known for my practical jokes on the set. One time, I nailed Nora Dunn in the head with an apple. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious, because you're handsome. Otherwise, you're just some dick who hit a lady. I'm having the best time ever, even better than when I lived in Santa Fe. Have you ever seen a prettier sunset? Never. It's just so peaceful here. It sure is. Mm, sure is. Did you also have a very public meltdown in another city? I did. Yeah. That's why I never introduce you to my friends. What friends? Like the guys in my photography club. Dear Gary Glitter, Jeffrey Jones, and Jared from Subway. I feel like I'm the only one sending pics. I love all the positive feedback, but maybe you guys send a pic? Anyway, here's more pics. When I commit to something, I go all the way. Like when I had Kathleen Turner's voice. Good morning, guys. Peter, what's wrong with your voice? I got punched in the throat at the clam last night. Now I sound exactly like Kathleen Turner. I'm just gonna get my stromboli. Hey, get away from my stromboli, Kathleen Turner. Nah. Just when I thought he couldn't get any cooler, he goes, holy sh Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, what, what, just, there's almost nothing left of him. And I just know I'm gonna be the one to have to identify the body. That's him. <sighs> Poor guy. He looks like a bowl of tomato soup. Guy next to him died in a fire. He looks like a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, these two poor souls are the best combination for a rainy Saturday. Yeah, this isn't even the first time you ditched us for someone else. Remember when you blew us off to hang out with Jerry Seinfeld? Julia Louis Dreyfus has a lot of Emmys now. Yeah. Why did your wife steal that cookbook? Oh my God, I did it! I was actually able to thread the... Oh crap, Canadian goose. Look out, eh? Damn it! Oh, son of a bitch! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I think I'm okay. Ah, Nichols! <laughs>